gentlemen, this school of hard knocks fight is an amateur bout in the 145 pound weight class and is brought to you by SB Experience. Have you had the SB Experience? And now, let's meet the fighters. Fighting out of Calmer, Alberta. This is Brad Carson Handley. Brad Carson coming down to the cage, 18 years old, out of Calmar, Alberta. Fights with Tiger Studios MMA, and uh, he's making his amateur debut tonight, just 18 years old. Yeah, 18, but uh, you know, that's uh, the time that you can do it as an amateur. Uh, get in there and uh, get your feet wet, get to uh, start to learn, and uh, this is your opportunity. That's why Hard Knocks was originally invented, was to make it so that people could have a chance to have some amateur fights before they were thrown into the ranks of professionals. You know, if somebody's making their professional debut against a guy who's had, you know, 100 fights, then just none of them professional, and he's had a uh, professional debut as well, you know, that's a big mismatch. Amateur fights give those guys an opportunity to get in and see what they need to work on. An 18-year-old UFC fan, been training for the last two years, says, uh, when I asked him, well, what kind of fighter are you? He said, I'm a mixed martial artist. And I said, well, you, but there's got to be a preference. Even Randy Couture is a wrestler who's a mixed martial artist. Uh, and he said uh, he considers himself more of a ground fighter, and that's because it's harder to get hit when you're on the ground. Uh, an interesting way to uh, to think about it, but here comes uh, Brad Carson into the cage. He'll uh, take a lap around and get set in the blue corner, and we'll get set to meet our next fighter, Zack Snyder. And his opponent. He's coming to you out of Calgary. He is Zack Snyder. Zack Snyder fights out of Knuckles Mixed Martial Arts here in Calgary. Provides a lot of fighters to the Hard Knocks Fighting Championship. Does the Knuckles Gym. Uh, we've seen uh, several of them before. We'll see several of them tonight. And 0-1-1 uh, oh, one one is Zack Snyder. Said his last fight, which was a loss, uh, he felt it was an early stoppage. Said he was standing against the cage when the referee made the stoppage. Uh, said that he felt like he was intelligently defending, but the referee decided differently, and uh, that's really the referee's job. Yeah, the referee is designed to protect uh, protect the athletes, and sometimes the athletes don't know uh, that they are in trouble. Uh, you know, you look at our last fight there, uh, sitting in the corner while he was recovering from being knocked out. You look at Justin LaFrance, and he's upset that the fight gets stopped. You know, we all saw that fight and saw that he was clearly out completely and entirely out. And uh, the referee knows best. If it's an early stoppage at the end of the day, that's just gonna protect the athlete, which is really important. Well, and at this stage in their careers too, as amateurs, doesn't really matter uh, as far as wins and losses go. Uh, fans of the Hard Knocks Fighting Championship have heard me say it 100 times. Doesn't matter if you're own 100 as an amateur, as long as you're 100 no as a pro. And now for the official fighter introductions. In the Bill 360 blue corner, in his amateur debut, he's 18 years old and stands six feet tall. He weighs in at 143 pounds. Fighting out of Tiger Studios MMA in Calmer, Alberta, please welcome Hard Knocks fighter, Brad Carson Henley! And in the Two Amigos and Company red corner. He's 0-1-1 as an amateur and is 18 years old. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall and weighed in at 144 and 1 half pounds, fighting out of Knuckles in Calgary. Please welcome Hard Knocks fighter, Zach Youngblood Snyder! This bout will be contested under amateur rules, and the referee in charge of the Hard Knocks action is Len Corvisto. Good evening, gentlemen. Amateur contest. Respect the rules, follow my instructions, and above all else, 
You must actually protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves now and come out ready at the belt. Len Coivisto, our referee in charge of the action in the center of the cage. Brad Carson coming out of the blue corner in the black trunks. Black with a camo trim for Zack Snyder out of the red corner. And we are underway for our second fight of the night. Looking for an early shot there was Brad, or rather it was Brad Carson, but uh, easily defended by Zack Snyder. Yeah, he didn't set that up at all. He just kind of reached for it. Um, you can see here that uh, it looks like uh, Brad Carson's having a little bit of trouble, but his opponent's gonna give him a chance to get up. And uh, again, it looks like uh, Zack Snyder is uh, sensing blood here. Yeah, Snyder looks like he's closing in for the finish at the moment. Carson coming back and uh, uh, we discussed he decided it was easier to go to the ground because you couldn't get punched on the ground. Looks like his stand up, he needs some work. A huge kick to the midsection there from Carson and he is stalking Snyder and takes him down. This fight over as Carson slams Snyder to the, or Snyder rather slams Carson to the ground Carson unable to continue, and that is the end of the fight. Zack Snyder gets his first win as an amateur in his third attempt, and Brad Carson will have to go back to the drawing board after that one. Yeah, you look at uh, Brad Carson there, uh, it doesn't look, uh, again, some, some guys are designed to be fighters, and uh, you know, Brad Carson may come back Ladies here. Ladies and gentlemen, we wait for the official right decision. The a special decision. thank you to the Calgary Heat Wrestling Society for helping us out with volunteers for this evening's action. So it looks like we are still waiting on the official decision. But again, uh, you know, Brad Carson could go back and he could, uh, he could uh, work on his game plan. Um, again, the first time you get in there and that's why you have these amateur fights. He's making his uh, amateur debut. And uh, you know, the first time you get punched in the face or that big kick to the stomach, uh, it doesn't feel good and uh, you know some people thrive on that and like getting punched and some people don't and uh, That doesn't mean that uh, Brad Carson's not going to come back. He just uh, knows what he now has to work on for his next fight Ladies and gentlemen, we have the official decision brought to you by SB experience The winner by TKO at 51 seconds in the very first round in the red corner, Zach Youngblood Snyder! And we go to Ryan Ballantyne, who is Zach, if I Zach can just Snyder. get a quick second of your time. 51 seconds in the first round. They say the third time's the charm. This time you get into the cage for the third time, you come away a winner. Oh, this feels great, man. Oh, first of all, I'd like to thank everyone at Canuggles Mixed Martial Arts. My head coach, Max Marin, Chan Hamzi, Paul Johnson, there's so many of you to name. You guys are all great guys. You push me every day, thank you so much. And also, thank you everyone who can support the local MMA community. Everyone in the crowd, thank you so much. So it looked like the game plan, come out swinging, you did that, you managed to get out, knock him down early, looked like he was struggling to get up, and then you finish him off. Walk us through the finish. Pardon me? Walk us through the finish. Oh. Just adrenaline, man. I knew just how I knew I had him on the feet. How to keep it standing, work my hands. I just came into this fight so confident. I busted my ass in the gym, and it paid off. All right, thanks, Zach. Let's hear it again for your winner, Zach Youngblood Snyder. And obviously excited, Zach Snyder winning his very first uh, amateur fight. There, he's 18 years old. Uh, looked good. Uh, coming out of the Knuckles camp there, you've got uh, guys like Keto Allen who trained there, who is in our uh, main event. Uh, some great fighters there. Max Marin, who was mentioned, uh, one of those great coaches that has the ability to be good in every aspect of the game. Jiu-Jitsu, kickboxing, wrestling. Max is uh, one of those guys who has it all. And uh, you can see that with his fighters. His fighters don't come in as, uh, as guys who are very specialized in one thing. They come in well-rounded. And you saw that there with Zach Snyder. Uh, we call him Youngblood, but, you know, isn't he the 300 director, too?